about it a few times and I've talked about it, but here's my little Ogo Pogo. I got this um, at uh, Potter's, one of my favorite garden centers, and the link is actually on my blog. And there's the Ogo Pogo, and this particular crypto creature is based on a, um, a British Columbia uh, lake monster uh, tradition and uh, like to have it arranged in different ways. Normally I've had it before all on the top tier and uh, now it's just a little bit more playful and uh, what I haven't seen yet is my next door neighbor's granddaughter coming because she usually likes to come and adore it because it's so entertaining for her. This little garden surprises and here is uh, just some colors. I actually can't remember the name of most of the flowers. Um, anyways, I know that big purple one's the phlox, and uh, oh, might as well talk a bit about, you can see on the, the roof line, um, I'll just zoom in a bit here, those are ridge vents. When I had the roof redone, um, it's a... Blue shingles, I don't know if you can tell in this, um, but the whirly birds are actually the least efficient type of. Oh, I'm just seeing what else everybody else has. Um, I don't think anyone's got the whirly birds on my street. Everybody seems to have these. Um, where did they go? Heck it a little bit. Oh, here we go. Most people have these kinds of vents where it's just this part. And this is actually done fairly well because it's up near the top, so that'll be giving a lot of air venting. Now with the ridge vents, however, um, the entire roof line uh, becomes the actual vent. You can see it up on... I can... The entire roof line actually becomes the vent, so you actually get more square inches and uh, the absolute hottest air ends up uh, leaving, so you've got a much better airflow in the attic. Um, and then with improved insulation, then you've got a nice um, uh, venting system so you don't end up with, uh, well, moisture problems. Um, so, that is, I think that's one of the tulips. Um, the purple flower is a, actually that is the balloon flower and that pink stripey one. Um, they start off as balls and then they open up as the stars. And these are the white hostas. And there's the tail of the Ogopogo. And the, uh, it's going to end on the irises. And this has been Agoraphobic Cul-de-sac for August 7th, 2000.